do mathematics with M's, grade 9, algebraic expressions, lesson 2. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's look at powers. A basic building block of a polynomial is a monomial. A monomial is one term and it can be a number, a variable, or the product of a number and a variable with an exponent. The number part of the term is called the coefficient. Like 6 is a coefficient, x is a variable, and 3 is the exponent. A coefficient is the constant in front of a variable or group of variables. For example, negative 3xy has a coefficient of negative 3. The coefficient has a plus or a minus sign in front of it. For example, 3y squared is a plus and negative 2p has a, a negative. In a polynomial, each term has its own coefficient. For example, in 8x squared minus 6x cubed plus 4x, 8x squared, each coefficient is plus x. Next one is a negative 6 and then a 4. The absence of a coefficient in a term is equivalent to a 1 or a negative 1. Being present, for example, in C minus D, C is a plus 1, and of course, minus D got a negative 1. An exponent is the power to which a variable is raised. For example, in 3x to the power 5, 5 is the exponent. The degree of an expression is the highest exponent of the expression. For example, x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1 is a degree of 3. Let's look at the next example. Give the coefficient of each term in the following expression. Negative 2x to the power 4 plus 4x squared plus x minus 8. So the solution is, it's a negative 2, a 4, and a 1. B, 9 minus 5a squared plus 6a. The solution is, it's a negative 5 and a 6. Number 2, arrange in ascending powers of x and a, and give the degree of the following polynomial. So 2x minus 5x cubed plus 4 minus 7x squared. Solution is 4 plus 2x minus 7x squared minus 5x cubed. So that is in ascending order. So you start with the smallest to the biggest uh, exponent. And it is to the third degree. Number B, minus 12a cubed plus 8a minus 2a squared plus 3a squared minus 5a. And if you rearrange, it is, you'll notice there's also like terms, which you must first collect. So don't forget, first collect your like terms, and then you write it in this, in ascending order. So if you collect 8a and 5a and minus 5a, you get a 3a. The negative, and then of course you get a negative 2a squared, and a plus 3a squared will give you a positive 1a squared. And the negative 12a cubed is on its own. So therefore, it is now 3a plus a squared minus 12a cubed. Number three, Tabo has x pairs of socks. His brother has 5x pairs of socks. How many pairs of socks do they all together have if Tabo has seven pairs of socks? So solution is x plus 5x is equal to 6x. So therefore, x equals to 7. Together, they have 6 times 7. They have 42 pairs of socks. Right, polynomials. An algebraic expression in its simplest form in which all the variables have exponents that are positive whole numbers. A variable that is written without an exponent has an invisible exponent of 1. No variables may appear in the denominators of the terms of the polynomial. A monomial is a polynomial with one term. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. A trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. 6p cubed minus 2p plus 7. This is a polynomial and it's also called a trinomial because this expression has three terms. All the variables have exponents that are positive whole numbers. 6t cubed minus 2 over t plus 7t to the power 4. This is not a polynomial because a variable appears in the denominator of the second term. This expression has three terms. The second term is a variable t in the denominator. 
5m to the power 2 thirds minus 4n minus 1, this is not a polynomial because the first term is an exponent that is not a whole number. This expression has three terms. The first term is an exponent that is a fraction. Negative 2 thirds a squared plus 0, 0.75 a to the power 5, this is a polynomial. And of course, in this case, also a binomial. This expression has two terms. All the variables have exponents that are positive and they are whole numbers. Let's look at the following three examples. Is each of the following a polynomial? 3k squared plus 2k minus 5 over k? No, because k is in the denominator. p to the power 5 minus 2p to the power 4 plus 7p to the power 3 plus p squared minus 9p plus 48? The answer is yes. c, 72 minus 12s to the power half minus 8st? The answer is no, because the exponent is a fraction. Then I have an exercise for you. Rewrite the following polynomials in descending of x and state the degree. The solutions are on the next page. So here's the solutions. So 2x plus 6 plus x squared in, in descending order. You start with x squared first, then 2x, then 6. And of course, it is to the second degree. The next one. If I rewrite it, it is negative x to the power 6, y to the power 5, then plus 3x to the power 4, y squared, then plus 2x cubed, y, then minus 5x squared, y cubed, plus 8xy plus 1. And this one is to the 6th degree, right? Then number 2 is each of the following polynomials. The first one, yes, it's a polynomial. And the second one, no, it is not a polynomial. This is uh, Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Please give me a huge like and subscribe. Subscription is free.